Okay, so I think we're going to do a little short segment here, and uh, it's just going to be a quick cleanup of this uh, Walden ratchet. Um, it's very stiff. Um, I've already taken the screws out. Um, I just wanted to see if I could get them out without shearing them. You can see they've been very uh, stretched. We're going to be replacing those. Uh, maybe we'll look at how we size them and put something new in. Um, so since we already got the plate off, um, the, the ratchet itself was very stiff, um, and we can instantly kind of see why it's bone dry inside. So what we'll do is we'll take it apart good, um, get everything degreased in here, and uh, we'll be back, and we'll regrease it and put it all back together and see how it works afterwards. All right, so we're back with a change of pay, uh, scene here with the Walden ratchet. So this is a half inch drive ratchet. And you can see this has really nice um, heavy duty uh, ratcheting teeth here. Now we've already cleaned this up, cleaned up very nicely. Um, the whole inside here cleaned up very nicely. Uh, here's your ratchet paw. And that is also looking very heavy duty. Um, this is a very nice tool actually all the way around so I'm actually really excited about this one uh, getting it cleaned up this is a nice um, nice pleasant surprise I mean it's a name I've, I'm not familiar with and uh, I think I'm gonna be kinda looking forward to seeing if I see any more of these in the future so here's like I say here's the uh, the anvil and uh, very nicely made uh, machined piece here I think either way um, here's the plate that was on it um, this was a little rough to get off because these screws are so stretched and bent out of position I'm not sure what did that if this thing was tweaked or really forced at one point and everything was kind of pulled out of whack it may have done damage to these screws um, but either way we're gonna replace these screws and I thought we'd talk a little bit about how to figure out what screws you have and how to replace them so um, realizing that these are a little elongated uh, made bigger shall we say by stretched uh, what we can do is we can take a dial caliper like this and we can pull a measurement and uh, there we go we're just right about on yeah that's right on there so I would say we're pretty close to 0 0.875 which should be 7 eighths and these flathead fasteners you want to measure from the flathead surface because they are countersunk and that is the overall length of them. So we happen to have some nice brand new 7 8 fasteners right here and there we go they're just uh, a little bit closer a little bit shorter but like we said we know that uh, these old ones were stretched out a little bit so how do we know what thread so the sizing of fasteners is uh, thread pitch which is um, here we happen to have a thread pitch gauge and this has a whole bunch of different thread pitches inside of it as you can see there um, and this one happens to fit with 32 so we know it's a 32 and then so we know it's a 32 threads per inch and that it's 7 eighths long um, the Phillips head here doesn't really matter um, if you wanted to keep it original you could but I went with a uh, an Allen cap um, and then the other thing that we need is the overall diameter of the screw which we can see here is 0 0.1 uh, about 85 or 90 and um, that is a number 10 screw 
Um, and how I know that is um, there should be a... Let me see if I got a chart that shows that. Okay, so we got the old burner phone out here, and we can see that a number 10 machine screw is a 0 0.9 or 190, or pretty close to 3 16 So what we'll want to do is uh, we can match that um, with our calipers now, and we can see that we're pretty close to a 0 one nine zero if not right on again the threads are a little boogered up on this so that gets us pretty close to what we need to be so we got our new screws sized um, you just got to look up your diameter your thread pitch and your length and if you want to have it um, Phillips or what if what if you're gonna change your head like we did we went to the hex head um, you'll, you'll need that as well to order your fastener or to pick it up at the store, whichever route you're going. So now we're gonna go with our super lube and lube this up and get it back together. See how it works. All right, so we're doing the old super lube routine here and I thought I'd just come back quick. Um, I got this pretty well lubricated. Uh, when I got this, it was dry as a bone inside. So I wanted to try and go a little bit extra with the super lube just because um, I want to see how it works out this thing was super super stiff when we got it so what I want to do is I have a fair amount on all of the mating surfaces I could see where this had been rubbing um, and it has a little bit of a groove going so I want to make sure I have adequate lubrication in there and maybe it'll be a little learning curve maybe this is too much but hey you gotta try things to learn things so let me uh, see if I can get this thing uh, finished getting this the way I want it and we'll get it back together. Okay, so we're just getting this thing back together here. We've got our plate. I think I'm going to put a thin layer of uh, grease just around the bottom side of this and when we put it back together, super thin just to have something on it. You can barely notice it on there, but it's got something to give it some some extra glide. So there we go. We've got that in. And just gonna hold it together and see. Yeah, I think that's gonna make a huge difference in how this tool works. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, we could barely do anything with it before so I think that's going to be a major improvement. Um, let's get the, uh, the new screws we have here. Let's get them started. Get the one started. Started. Let's get the other started before we tighten them up. Just so we're pulling everything in straight. Snug that one first. Make sure you get that thing engaged there properly. There we go. And there we go. Our fasteners are nice and flush with the bottom of the plate. So we have good engagement there. And this ratchet is nice and smooth. I mean, this you saw was a very coarse ratchet. We didn't count the teeth. but. I would say this is, you know, a heavy duty type of ratchet. And that sounds really nice. It's not taking a lot of effort to turn or anything. It's it's working very well both directions. So, very pleased with that. I think we could do a little bit more cleanup on it. Uh, but I think we're pretty much there. So there we go. Got that one done. Maybe we'll do a little bit of cleanup and uh, show that in the pictures at the end here, and uh, I think that's going to be it. So there we go. Mangled screws. Take it apart, clean it up. Do a little bit of measurements, get your new screws. 
put her back together and good as new. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. <laughs>